first uh, time I heard about relativity, I learned about re relativity, was through this series called Cosmos. It was created by this astrophysicist called Carl Sagan. And I was like nine or 10 years old when I watched this serial. And because of I developed a lifelong love for physics after watching Cosmos. And I still remember vividly how Carl Sagan explains relativity. So he describes a set of twin brothers, you know, twin brothers sitting in a park bench. And one brother takes a scooter and rides off at nearly the speed of light. He goes on a five minute drive at the speed of light. OK, and he comes back to the park bench and he finds his brother sitting. He has not aged at all. He has aged only by five minutes. But his brother is now an 80 year old man, wrinkled and old. So only five minutes has elapsed for this guy who is who was riding at the speed of light and decades have elapsed for the brother. So that's how we he explained that time flows differently when you're traveling at different speeds. And this I, 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 I saw this on Cosmos and few Weeks later, I was reading Amar Chitrakata. And in Amar Chitrakata, there was this Puranic story of a, of a king called Kakudmi and his daughter Revati. And Kakudmi is supposed to be like, a, Revati was a very accomplished, beautiful girl. And her father wanted to get the best match for his daughter. So he travels to Brahmaloka, Brahmaji's abode, to ask him for advice whom he should get his daughter married to. So once he reaches Brahma Loka, he finds that Brahma is in meditation. So he doesn't want to disturb him. So he waits for an hour. And once Brahmaji opens his eyes, he asks uh, Brahmaji, I have this beautiful daughter. Whom should I get her married to? And Brahmaji laughs and tells him, this one hour which you have spent here is equivalent to thousands of Chatur Yugas on earth. So this one, you only spent one hour here, but thousands of Chatur Yugas have passed on earth. So none of the people you know are living anymore. Your kingdom is gone. The whole era has changed. So when I read this story, I found that it bore such a striking resemblance to Carl Sagan's twins. Mm -hmm.